Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this Monday, January 18th. I'm so glad you could join me for Compline this evening. Our service will show up on your screen in just a few moments, and I invite you to follow along. Your responses are in bold. And so now, as we begin our time together in worship, let us pause for just a few moments of holy silence. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 9. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they will stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sit upon your throne, judging right. You have rebuked the ungodly and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever. As for the enemy, they are finished in perpetual ruin. Their cities plowed under, the memory of them perished. But the Lord is enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. It is he who rules the world with righteousness. He judges the people with equity. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. Those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim to the peoples the things he has done. The avenger of blood will remember them. He will not forget the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, O Lord. See the misery I suffer from those who hate me. O you who lift me up from the gate of death, so that I may tell of all your praises and rejoice in your salvation in the gates of the city of Zion. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they dug, and in the snare they set is their own foot caught. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are trapped in the works of their own hands. The wicked shall be given over to the grave, and also all the people that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Rise up, O Lord, and let not the ungodly have the upper hand. Let them be judged before you. Put fear upon them, O Lord. Let the ungodly know they are but mortal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus departed with his disciples to the lake, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him. Hearing all that he was doing, they came to him in great numbers from Judea, Jerusalem, Umedia, beyond the Jordan, and the region around Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so they would not crush him, 
for he had cured many, so that all who had diseases pressed upon him to touch him. Whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and shouted, You are the Son of God. But he sternly ordered them not to make him known. He went up the mountain and called to those whom he wanted, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, to be with him, and to, he, and to be sent out to proclaim the message, and to have authority to cast out demons. So he appointed the twelve. Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanganes, that is, sons of thunder, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section below, where all may see them and know to add them to their prayer list as well. And tonight, as I uh, leave a picture for you to meditate upon as we pray, our picture tonight comes from the high altar at the Cathedral of St. Patrick in Ireland. This evening, we especially remember our parish members and friends who were ill and firm or in need, including Tom, Patricia, Liana, Jeannie, Tony, Judy, Wayne and his family, David, Leo, Matthew, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Mary and Scott, Loretta, Leonard, May, Evelyn, Colleen, Bill and Carolyn, Nicholas, Rhody, Elizabeth, Darlene, Jerry, Sally, Ernie, and Stephen. Pray for all those who have been named in the comment section. For those we name with our lips or in our hearts. We pray for our nation, for our president, for our president-elect. We pray for the world. And for those who have asked for our prayers, but we cannot recall at this time. O oh God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, 
and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farms and fields, city streets and factories. Put them in danger with little pay. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them all, Lord Christ, from all danger. Keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes this evening with the song of Simeon. Saying together, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you all for joining me this evening for Compline. I invite you to join me again tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. for Compline once again. Um, please be on the lookout for uh, ballots and information on our annual meeting. That will be coming out on Wednesday. So please be looking for your, uh, your email inbox for that information. And, um, and you will uh, have a ballot to fill out as well. So please be on the lookout for that. God's peace be with you all. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Amen.